Hepatitis C, also known as Hep C or HCV, is a serious and often deadly disease. It's caused by a virus that attacks one of the most important organs in your body, your liver. Your liver is essential because it removes harmful chemicals from your blood, fights infections, helps digest food, and stores energy that your body needs to survive. Over time, Hep C can cause liver cancer or damage your liver to the point that it can no longer do its job. Hep C is spread from person to person through contact with infected blood or items that have infected blood on them, such as non-sterile needles. Anyone can get Hep C, but it's believed that the majority of people who have Hep C are baby boomers. In other words, adults born between 1945 and 1970. Why baby boomers? Well, we're not really sure, but it could be that modern procedures to prevent exposure to blood only started to be used in hospitals and medical clinics in the 1980s, and widespread screening of the blood supply wasn't adopted until 1992. This means that some baby boomers may have become infected with Hep C if they were in contact with infected blood during transfusions or other medical procedures. Others may have become infected from unsterile piercings or tattoos, or from injecting drugs, even if they only did it once in the past. In Canada, it's estimated that around 250,000 people may have Hep C, and one in five of them may be unaware that they have the disease. And that's because most people don't have symptoms until their liver's already been damaged, and this can take 20 years or more to happen. Because symptoms may not show up for a long time, people can spread Hep C to other people without even realizing it. Symptoms of advanced liver disease from Hep C infection can include dark yellow urine, light-colored stools, yellowish eyes and skin, and flu-like symptoms that don't go away. So how do you know if you have Hep C? Well, the good news is a simple blood test can show whether or not you have the virus. Even if you aren't having symptoms, getting tested for Hep C is a good idea since symptoms may not show up until your liver's already been severely damaged. Getting diagnosed and treated early can help prevent or slow down liver damage and may even cure the infection. And new medications are becoming available that make treatment easier and shorter than it used to be, with very high cure rates. So don't wait. Talk to your healthcare provider about whether you should be tested for hepatitis C.